Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Lucky, and the channel's Game On, where we just keep on gaming on. We've got more Dragon's Dogma today. We're playing the Darker Risen version, which has the DLC content, Bitter Black Isle. And we're actually going to go out there here in a little bit and get some really badass gear once we do a little bit more of the side, or the main quest here. Um, because that'll unlock the start of the DLC. But I think we have to do a couple of missions here first. Uh, we left off. We had just arrived at the encampment here. We got our first pawn, Rook. We traveled around a little bit, found some flowers. We didn't find the other flowers yet on the beach. We really like our armor and our look. I wish we had some kind of longer pants. It kind of feels like we're in our underwear running around out here, but that's okay. We're like a desert warrior. We'll assume someplace hot, right? Oh, now we're shorts. Can you hear on more if so, Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. We chose the strider, so we've got daggers and a bow. It's turned out pretty good so far. Follow me. Ah, see, Rook, he knows the way. We follow him. Must be near. Huh. What could that be? If you've forgotten where you are in the story, select Chronicle from the pause menu to review history of your journey thus far. And to do that, you go here and you go history. Pawn message log. Your conversations with the pawns are detailed here. Tutorial stuff. Pawns used. Tells you the pawns you're using. Adventure log. All sorts of information. Uh, maybe it's status that has it. Where is the journal at? When you have accepted multiple quests at once, you may set one as your priority quest. Doing so will make all people, places, and things relevant to the priority quest appear prominently on your mini-map. Pawns in your party will also offer advice for the priority quest more often than for other quests in your log. Okay, that's cool. And the completed quests go there, but wasn't there a journal section? Not any of that. Yeah, okay, I guess this is it. Yeah, it's the pawn messages is what they're showing you. So anyways. Select options from the pause menu to customize your minimap to status. Have all you need? We are an in first and foremost, but we are more than simple logic. We can safeguard your belongings, aid in learning new skills. Have your pick, any you like. <clears throat> what will it be today? Ooh, so we've got a couple of points already. So, those are discipline points, I guess. I forget what they're called. There's rift points for getting pawns and stuff like that. And then there's gold. Then there's these points right here that unlock skills. So, biting wind dashes past the target with blaze extended, delivering slashes that can be followed with further contact. Okay, so that seems like a really good move. There was one move for the fighter called Burst Strike that was just OP. And I use that, like, all the time, and that seems similar to it. Fires three arrows in a wedge pattern, dope. Sends a wall of arrows skyward to rain down on a broad area, very cool. A broad ranged flurry of dagger blows punctuated with a fierce kick, okay. More intense dagger play. Performs a swift and deadly double strike forward, topped off with a whirling slash. So forward, forward, and a whirling slash after. Okay, that sounds cool too. Let's equip our first skill here. So we've got Scarlet Kisses. And we're gonna add Biting Wind Triangle. We've got Threefold Arrow. Oh, well, we have no augments, right? Yeah, no augments. What will it be today? Have your pick, any you like. What will it be today? You gotta stay on top of uh, your inventory because it will get out of hand fast. We don't need any of this stuff I know from past experiences. Um, even the dragon spit, I never really even used that stuff. Yeah. Whoops. All this stuff is not really necessary. Even the cloud wine. 
it's all for crafting, and we'll come back here like a crafting station and just craft at the station. We're going to give that to our first pawn, along with the cape and the jewelry. Who will it be? Have your pick. It'll come again soon. Okay. Discipline points can be spent to learn useful augments and skills. Skills and augments must be enabled in order to make use of them. Okay, we kind of went over that. Let's go out here and try that move out really quick before we do anything else. So if we hold R1, oh, that's really cool. But she runs for a long time there. Wow. That uses a lot of stamina. So we can really only do four of those right now. Five. We can do five of those in a row before we run out of stamina. Hold on. So I can see that is a great escape move. We oh, we're in trouble. We need to make some distance between us and a big bad enemy. Boom. Well met, sir. Can you hear our voice? We speak to you from across great distance. The Horn Legion has awaited you. Pray, forgive this strange and impersonal greeting. Oh, well, this dagger looks so cool. As a gate. It connects our kind to your world. It opens to the Arisen, for they possess a will powerful enough to guide the Legion. If you would claim to be among the Arisen, prove the strength of your resolve. Very well. If, we, if you are an Arisen in truth, this humble task will prove no obstacle. The Arisen must possess the valor to stand against all threats and the power to quell them. A tireless spirit of self improvement grants the strength to lead the Legion. Okay. Search the area. Select status from the pause menu to view details in your current condition. Power emanates from within. The beast comes! Hurry! Oh, we gotta fight. Who is it? There may be prowling monsters. When foes seem too much to handle, try gaining levels and obtaining better equipment. Okay, well. What well, duh, I mean, we know that. No wanderer is ever lost with the map at their side. Alright. Ooh, it looks like an ogre. Oh. I wonder what that symbol on his head was. Take damage, the amount of health you can recover decreases. Resident and the curatives I fully recover their health. Giving pawn curatives the hold will allow them to use them at their own discretion. So remember that. If you guys get your pawn's items, they'll be able to use them. Oh god. No man, stamina. Or the hooded figure. I vaguely remember him. 
was it? I don't know if I ever found out who he was though or to the encampment. A large encampment. What he was doing. Rugged bone, rugged bone, rugged bone. Okay. Let's go show the pawns that we are actually strong enough to Let us go and give word earn their help. After accepting a quest, first note the quest marker on your map, then continue by searching for required items or information. If you come to an impasse in one quest, why not try progressing through another? You may find a solution to your initial problem. Ekbal, located at the command headquarters of the encampment, provides many different support functions to adventurers. Speak with him to rest and heal your wounds, learn and enable useful weapon skills, or store excess items. Shall we search the area? We will rest before we leave again, because nighttime is still too dangerous for us to be out and about. With that, your trial is You are the Arisen Truth. Proven beyond any doubt. Now, I bid you select a companion for the journey ahead. They shall serve you and you alone. To share in your hardships, to aid you in every endeavor. Nice. So we get the rest of our party here. And I would always suggest having a full party of pawns. So this is your main pawn that'll be with you all the time. We're gonna make him a dude. Um. And I always use Muad'Dib because I read the Dune books when I was a kid and I loved them. I read like all, I think five of them. There's more than five, but I read five of them, I think. All the way up to God Emperor of Doom. Balrog, that's good. Barry. Ben. <laughs> Bingo. Bitey face, that's funny. <laughs> Could be a Chad. Gale. I like Gale. He was the hardest boss in Dark Souls 3 that I ever fought. I actually beat him too. Be a warrior like that. What's he gonna be? So if we're an archer, see the problem is mage is so powerful. But I feel like being a strider rogue, we need a tank to go in there and distract and take damage. That's who I was in my other playthrough. Man, look at that ogre. Holy cow. <clears throat> Honestly, magic's so powerful, we need a sorcerer. Concerned, I actually like most of what he's got going on. We got a top knot, so we can do more of a samurai style thing. There we go. That looks a little bit too eh, with the beard. Don't look right. That doesn't look right with the beard. <laughs> that really doesn't look right. That one looks good. Yeah, the rest of it I like, man. Let's change his eyes to some kind of weird thing because, of course, it's a video game and we can. Um, give him red eyes. There's even more I didn't realize. Those are trippy. Okay, we got him figured out. Yeah, whatever. He looks fine. You'll be asked a few questions. Your answer will shape your pawn's inclinations. When faced with danger, which trait would you most value in a follower? An iron will 
quick thinking, careful preparation, the charisma to lead. Quick thinking is what I would always value. Intelligence. While in battle, which strategy would you prefer your follower to employ? Kill all the enemies, <clears throat> rescue comrades in danger, strike at the strongest foes, call for reinforcements. Well, I definitely want them to strike at the strongest foe. And you can see all the stuff on the middle of the screen, scatter, medicin, mitigator, challenger, it all is changing as we make these decisions. Your follower rescues your party and turns the tide of the entire battle. What will you have them say? This way, master. Leave them to me. Now, master, strike the final blow. Quickly, after them. Well, we're going to go strike the final blow. As a ruler, which gift would please you most? A magic potion that preserves youth, a brave and just hero who succeed you, the perfect spouse, a majestic white steed. Well, a brave and just hero to succeed me. So, mage. Yep. Okay, so that's our main pawn. We'll have them throughout the game no matter what. I think they can die though, and you will you will lose them. But uh, I think I can't remember. Came from the rift. Our fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. From this day. The legions men call pawns live and die by your command. <clears throat> so we basically had a dragon land in our little village. We picked up a sword, stabbed him, pissed him off. He cut our heart out and everybody wants to follow us. That's generally the gist of the story to this point. As I said, the main story is not the strongest point in this game, <laughs> but it is, uh, uh, it keeps it going. Ah, a master and his pawn, is it? You'll be quite the force come the day you learn to fight as one. Mind you, that is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat of mortal combat. I can help in that regard, should you wish it. I really don't want to do this, but... The men of the Enlistment Corps. <laughs> As you will. Do I have to? I think I have to. The men... <laughs> Whoops. The men of the... Let me be... You'll complete three forms of training in sequence. Each serves to hone a different quality. Hmm. You'll need more than raw muscle here. If you find a task too difficult to manage, you might reconsider your party. There are other pawns here. You can choose among them if you care to. I was the laughing first at the facial expressions of these talking. carrying freight. All the lot of them before my count ends. You're free to choose your company, but this is a task too great. Many hands lighten any load, as they say. Now, get to it. We'll begin as your task is to haul all of the freight before my count ends. Get to it. <clears throat> so I think it's up on the D-pad to tell those guys to go. Very well. Ready to grab a box. What are you doing, Muad'Dib? Did you get one already? Good job. He already got one. The deadline draws near, sir. You getting it, homie? We must hurry. There's no time. Oh, you beat me to it. Just barely. Good job. Good job. Come on, Moody. Good job. You did your silly little boxes. Well done. 
Meet each challenge with that vigor, and you'll make for a fine warrior of four long. Next is combat training. You'll face my Scarecrow army here. Destroy them before my count ends. A large group will be of help again, but you must choose your companions wisely. A company all doing the same thing is less effective than using a varied approach. Choose well. We'll begin as soon as you're prepared. Just give the word. You'll set about destroying Scarecrows this time. Get them all before my count ends. I think. Cat. I'll we'll get look around. Leave it to us! I'll sell it with a spell. Okay. Then. The deadline draws near, sir. Where are the other ones at? My hurry. There's no time. Okay, we got that one. Where's the other one? I'll fell it with a spell. I don't even see him. We have triumphed. Did we? Enough! Enough! <laughs> I he well says done. that. Meet each challenge with that vigor, and you'll make for a fine warrior of four long. Right then. Finally, you'll be destroying more scarecrows. But don't expect a repeat of the last. There are two sorts of Scarecrow, each with its own weakness. One falls only to steel and brute force, Ooh. the other only Ooh. to magic. If you're not mindful of how you attack them, you'll fail. Strike fast and strike hard. Okay, Vary this really your party and your tactics until you find success. Use your head. We'll begin as soon as you're prepared. Well, well. it's back to the Scarecrows for your last lesson. Destroy them all before my count ends. I feel. Okay, so some we can physically attack, others we can use magic. So that's physical. That guy's magic. I'll spell it with a spell. Okay. Do that. This is physical. No. There's no time. That's a red one. That's a red one. I can't tell. I'll fill it with a spell. Enough! I don't think we did it. I don't know what happened. It will come in time. For now, reconsider your tactics and your companion. I was really confused. About which ones were magic and which ones were not magic. Yeah, whatever. I don't even really want to do this, dude. We're just going to bail. I don't think we have to. Do we? It will be easier going searching this area now. It's close. I've learned of this area. Seems we need to station to pass. We are a vagabond. The hell? This guy again. Just shows up in camp like that. We can safeguard your belongings or aid in learning new skills. Have your pick. Any you like. 300 gold the rest today. here. Holy I'm cow. In this tent in the middle of nowhere? That's a little expensive for my taste. <clears throat> yes, yes. Load the information on the server. When you're connected online, your main pawn's attributes will be uploaded every time you rest at an inn. The main pawn you created can travel to other worlds online to assist other players in their travels. These adventures can result in new knowledge, items, and equipment they bring back when they return. Your main pawn will gain boons earned in other worlds at the inn as well. Visit often, keep current on any developments. A rift stone. Extreme yeah, so that's power. one really cool thing is they can actually come back with armor and weapons that they get. And vice versa, if you have other people's pawns, you gotta make sure you pick up the rewards really quick in this game because they'll pick them up and it'll be gone. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Arisen. Hello, Trinity. I am honored to travel with you. Oh, and look at that big, big soldier. We might want to take him because we have no tank. So we've got a couple of. Consult the history and the pause menu to view a record of the pawns you've employed. <laughs> yep. 
This guy's level 87? What the hell? We can get a level 87 guy if we have 600,000 realm credits. So if we took him with us, he would just destroy everything so fast. 30. We don't have any realm credits. So we're just getting guys for free that are our level. Most guys on your level will be free. Iris, Barry, Bull. Yes, Arisen? Yeah, because we need one tank and I want him to be a bigger guy. I cannot take on any more followers without releasing one of your current companions. Very okay, well. well, never mind, we won't. Is everything in order, Master? Touching the stone will allow you to seek and summon pawns to return to your realm. Exit the rift. So we got one more pawn. Let's try that encampment tutorial one more time. And after that, we'll say boohoo. I'm not doing it. Where was he at? Is he over here? Back to Castle is a reason. Here's a fair notion. We pawns travel the rifts connecting this world with those beyond. Seems the soldiers make their beds there. I don't know. We'll see if we just skip that tutorial. It is a humble structure than I'd imagine. I am Mercedes. I lead the men of the Enlistment Corps. I've heard talk of the Arisen. They say you hold dominion over the pawns. I've ordered pawns to take up swords and fight myself. But they are a clumsy lot. I cannot call them into this world as you do, though. You'll make traveling companions of them. What manner of magic lets you command them so? Well, it matters not. The dragon is come. I'll welcome any help, be it pawn, arisen, farmer, or fishwife. I make use of the encampment as you please. Are you in need of rest? Well, come again whenever you talk. Hmm, okay. Well, we're gonna end the episode here, and then we're gonna take a rest with her and start the next part of the main story. <laughs> Look at that tower. This tower's wild. Let's climb up here really quick. I just noticed all the spikes on it. Whoops. Quick climb. Oh, I, I thought there'd be a chest up here, but it's not. It's just a really good view. Casardis over there. Grand Soren over this way. Moon Tower somewhere in the distance. So one thing I want to tell you really quick before we get out of this episode is this is one of the only RPGs I've ever played where it's actually like what I consider real open world. We can go from here to pretty much anywhere. I know it's all foggy and you can't see what all land is, but we can go all over this place if we just set out right now and just start walking. I literally walked and followed this road all the way around here to like the very, very end game section, picked up a weapon and played with that weapon almost the entire game because it was the best weapon I found because it was in the very last section of the game. Um, and so being able to do that, I think is a huge plus, huge plus. That makes it so fun because at any time you can just go adventuring no matter what your level is. So thanks for watching guys. This is our Let's Play of Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. I'm Lucky and the channel's game on. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.